so here is the other world that makes martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Khabib is as undefeated as fighter Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy is a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with a bull in his corner. Martial arts. I guess everybody except the Eagle, Khabib Nurmagomedov, impossibly difficult to get this guy off of you once he takes you down. How do you prevent that from happening is the question for the opponent tonight. That's a nice strike there by Nurmagomedov. Yeah, Khabib Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial art. Great timing on that double leg. Excellent ground and pound here by Nurmagomedov. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Nice entry there and able to finish. Really nice defense there. Oh, there's that switch kick. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Now some spacing as they exit the clinch. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Back to the clinch. Well, how about this striking display tonight as he lands? Oh, you can feel the reverberations here at the broadcast booth as he slams him down there with conviction. You should see that. The moment those two big boys hit the mat, John Papers, like a lion. It was amazing. Where's that working man camera? Yeah, we need that working man right now. <laughs> this table is a mess. <laughs> nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. And now is where things could get really interesting. Oh, he's got the submission locked in now. This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Postures up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. And there it is. Another strike on the ground gets through. Gets to the single collar tie now. Huge knee lands. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Trying to kick the leg out. Nurmago Menov going for the takedown, but unable to land. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Both of them landed there. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Two minutes to go in round one. Connected with a solid punch right there. Oh, nice. Another take down lane. Oh, look at that, high-level grappling as the fighter reverses position and attains a dominant position. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah. Nermago Maddox going for a choke. It's in there deep. There you go. He's going to go to sleep. It's over. It's work, guys. to stay out of that dark show. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Right. 
And a miss with the right hook. Both fighters throwing heat now. Under a minute to go in the round. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Well, he continues to stay busy and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. And there's the single leg. Both fighters get up now. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. All right, they separate. Now we'll see who can get off in space. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan and it's working. Oh, that Von flu choke is tight. So there's the end of the round, the storyline over those previous five minutes, volume takedowns, offensive wrestling. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight, not only for the offensive fighter, but also for the opponent. Always being under attack, always being defensive, always reacting starts to really wear at your gas tank. It's interesting to see who is more fresh going into the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. All right, so we'll see how it goes here in this round. Previous round, it was all him just taking his opponent down, really every time he entered. Yeah, every time he got in on a leg, he was able to secure a finish. And that is the idea you want as a wrestler going into a fight. If you have to change up the technique, it's fine. It's not always going to be the very first attack. When it's the first attack, you're very happy. But most times, you've got to chain things together if you want to take down a great fighter. And we know how hard it is to maintain the wrestling, right? The hours required in the gym to make sure that wrestling's still at a high level. He's putting in the time. Yes, he's putting in the time. And also, you see it in his movements. When he gets to an attack, he's constantly shifting position. Setting up an arm bar now. Oh, it's tight. Nice shot there by the champ. All right, so now going to position over submission as he bails on the sun. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Now he lands a solid punch. Well, you don't want to say Khabib has fallen in love with his striking, but he certainly is boxing more than he did early on in his UFC career. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Nice one-two there. All right, so another takedown for the wrestler. He hinted that he wanted to strike here tonight, but sticks with the bread and butter, and it's working. The bread is buttered, so why would you not eat it? This guy is doing exactly what we have come to expect from him. He goes forward, he level changes, and he takes you down. Once you're on the ground, he grinds you out. This is a wrestler's calling card, and he is showing you why tonight in the octagon. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. All right, so he's setting up for a submission here. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. Now he's out, the fight's gonna continue. Oh my goodness, I thought it was over. I the thought this fight was off. over. Nice transition. Scramble and go! Champ, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting denied. Yeah, because he's not panicking. He's taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch a guy comfortable even when he's under attack. All right, close guard now. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. He's very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. All right, 
Beautiful placement there on the hook as he lands it again. Really a different round here, but same narrative. Same narrative, same result. And if he doesn't change something, he's going to get put to sleep with a big hook. Over and over, he has taken him, and now he's starting to take him clean on the chin. Well, his wrestling has been a great equalizer thus far in his UFC career and gets the single leg takedown. And you know that it's his shot. It's his shot of choice, a single leg takedown, and he's securing it, and he's doing it and scoring it over and over again. Well, if you are a young striker, you could do a lot worse than watching this guy work on the feet, perhaps trying to set up another hook here. Yes, he is. He's definitely trying to set up another hook. You could tell by his eyes. He's taking peeks. He's sneaking looks at where he needs his opponent to be in order to land that shot. Now the hammer fist here by Namago Mel. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night when everything went right, and that doesn't happen. Big double leg, double change. Yeah, he's a half guard here. Getting them out here. He's setting up a beautiful submission. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Still trying to get the submission here. Oh, now he bails on the submission. Oh, he's got his knee on the belly, raining down punches here. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke stop, submission. Stop. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action, and if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, and secure takedown after takedown. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive wrestling. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking them down. Getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. Great punch. Ooh, nice uppercut from the champ. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. Oh, he got to the spot. Well, if you're sick of us dropping that word hook, don't shoot the messenger, because he throws, and more often than not, he lands, just like he did in the previous round, found a home for it again. Found a home for it again, and if I'm him, I'm continuing to go to the well. His opponent has not shown an ability to stop him. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Overhand is true. He's found his range. Now he's in a rhythm, landing those nice, beautiful punches. Hands higher, hands higher. Nermago Medov gets caught by that straight punch there. Another big takedown. Nermago Medov's in half goal. Oh, he's going triangle here. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. All right, so he lets go of the submission now. He let go because he saw that he was going to lose his position. you got to maintain dominant position when you're in a fight. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Fighter trying to pass here, Uba gets denied. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. All right, so from being dominated to in the dominant position, nice reversal on the ground. 
Well, his superior grappling has certainly been the lead narrative in this one. The takedowns, the ground control, he's got it all going tonight. He's doing a great job of dictating to his opponent, not allowing him to make any decisions in regards to the fight. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the ground, and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and that's exactly what you just got. All right, there it is, another strike targeting that damaged area on the body. Is this a game plan thing or perhaps try to set something up high later? Well, I think it's, I think it's all, it all works together. You get the hands to start to drop, and then when those hands drop, you go over the top with that head kick. But beating up the body sets up the attacks up top, and that's exactly what this guy is doing. Oh, you land, I land, is that what we're doing here? Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. That's a solid punch. That one definitely got through. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Oh, punches and punches all to the head. Beautiful combination. Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. This is tight. He's out. What's the defense on this play? Wow, he actually reversed the position, but he didn't stop there. He took referee to help me here. Just as the referee would never take a guy out of mount. They will not take the guy off of your back. You have to get him out of his position. Oh, and he's back up again. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Trying to establish that jab once again. Always busy here. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point. In fact. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we're starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reactions of the opponent. 10 seconds to go in the round. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. in the books, we are headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the horn, the round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool, cut man is in, should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, and being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every yeah, time he gets hit there, the Ready. blood goes down into the mouth, it. making it difficult to breathe. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Big right hook them on the champ. Mago met up ground and pound from half goal. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Let's fight, come on. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Well, we've been talking about those knees and his usage pattern with them throughout this fight here tonight, and the numbers really do tell the story. He continues to employ his Muay Thai game and find a home for some of the more powerful knees in this division. Oh, now the hook in the clinch by Nurmago Meta. Now they separate. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Oh, nice. 
That left hook was crazy. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Namago. Single collar tie now. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Yep, and he's got him secured in the half guard now. Under three minutes now to go in the round. All right, side control now. Oh, right into Mount. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. All right, feet on the hips here. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Nurmagomedov's got a nasty bruise, Daniel. You see it appearing there on the left side. You got to think all of that body investment by his opponent is going to pay large dividends as this fight continues. Nice move in the half guard. Shades of Nurmagomedov's going for that arm triangle. Let's see if he has it. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle is tight. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Tries to work it into a takedown. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fight. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Beautiful transition. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Oh, back up again. You can't Run hold down. a good man down. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. It's a pretty fast jab. The takedown is not there. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that lead the dance. He was able to get that right hand over the top and to the target. Takedown attempt late, and it's good. Nice pass. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. How in the world did he escape that submission? Ramago Madoff's back in half court. Mm. 20 minutes in the can, five to go. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's going to stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react a little quicker. Ready to fight? Ready. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Misses again with a right punch. Beautiful defense. Nice block. Single leg takedown, pretty good velocity on that one. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. He's got the 
the single column time. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to knock his head on him the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Nice combination by the champ. Whiffs on the right hand. And blocks that hard punch. Lands a big elbow there. Oh, he's staying busy here, connecting with a barrage of punches. Nice crack there. He gets to the single collar time. Look for him to now. Oh, double leg takedown. Go Medoff's in half goal. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. His work, guys. Nicely done. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. Khabib's in half guard now. Oh, the grounded pound is there. Now going upstairs with the left hook. His cardio is oh, extra perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. He went high on that one. And now he lands a combination. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. There it is, now he's going to mount. Full side control now. Good work from the top here by Nermago Meta. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Beautiful jab lands. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Big shot to the head. Nice combination on the feet, and now works it to a takedown. Nermago Medov's in half guard. Setting up a submission. Oh, I'm no expert, but that Von Flute choke looks locked in. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. Now he's going full mount. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Looks as though he will let his opponent stand back up. Yes. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. How about the leg kick there? Beautiful. Strong kick there. Both fighters start to open up a little bit. with that jab attempt there. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Rips the body there. Another big hit. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp, you got to get up and a hit. Back and forth action what? right until the final horn. That one's going to hold up in the fight of the year conversation. All right, Ladies the official decision is now in. After Here five is Bruce Bounds. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50 45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Khabib the Eagle, Nirmano Medal.
right, so judges' scorecards needed not often the case when Khabib Nurmagomedov competes, but he gets it done by decision and keeps that O in the loss column.